Last week on May 8th 2015 and anniversary of Europe's liberation from the Nazis, the day 70 years ago World War II ended, a young brave Turk stood up against the Swiss terror and Swiss tyranny and shot four of his Swiss Nazi tormentors. May the 8th, the day the Nazis surrendered in 1945, is general being seen in Switzerland as a day of grief and sorrow, because that very day marked the end of some very good business with the Nazis. And on that very same day, when Swissy was already in a bad mood, because the rest of Europe celebrated the end of a terrible world war, a young and brave young Turk just couldn't take the organized Swiss crimes against him and his children anymore, and decided to seek justice himself in a land of hardcore Nazism, where it brings no sense of justice at all for a foreign immigrant as himself. And here you can see it says all the time the mad killer in German even in in German they're using the word killer you know so to you know to um, to form the people you know to manipulate the people uh, of which I'll tell you later uh, again just watch this mad killer and I put all the original uh, German articles in the description for you. And it says, you know, we were all afraid of him, you know. It's incredible how Swiss he always slips into the victim's role. You know, as it is so important for them, you know, to stay like innocent and neutral. They never do done anything wrong, you know. So the mad killer, in German that's uh, der ihre Ihre killer, using an English word, and I'll explain you why. So, here it says here about Ili. Um, it says the children were placed stranger. So, you know, that's the Google translation. I'm sorry, but it means, you know. They just took the way the the children away, you know. You, you don't do this, you know. This is terror. This is violence. Violence has endless many faces, and this is one of the. This is what Swissy does, you know. That's their Swiss violence. And they never done anything wrong. So, and here it says. They call him Simon Ah, but that's not his name. And um, he had installed on his front. He had installed cameras everywhere. You know, I was so the man was in. Was afraid of them. Don't you see it? He was afraid. He was afraid of Swissy. Why else install a camera all over, around his house? The Swiss are lying as always. You know, I know them now. They've done the very same thing with me. It's always the same. So I put the links all I put all the links and the translations and the original German text. I put it in the uh, description for you. I just had to make this video, you know, it, it's awful, you know. This is slander. It's evil slander, you know, against immigrants. Swissy and their racist terror had taken away his beloved children, had put him in a closed psychiatrical institution in the boogie house, used him as a guinea pig, criminalized him through foul organized Swiss lies, completely destroyed his honor and sense for human dignity, everything. And this is in fact both the Horus Matrix and the Ordo Ab Chaos of respectively the Sisters of Isis and the Freemasons. The Horus Matrix will not accept too much influence by a patriarchal Muslim father 
as he was married to a Swiss wife. And the Ordo Apkaus tries to break down the original personality being rebuilt by other criteria, creating a garden gnome for the Swiss Sisters of Isis. Just like the New World Order bombs the hell out of Iraq, pulverizing all the buildings, then to be rebuilt by the New World Order, being automatically the new owners at the same time. So, here you can see, here, they talk, you know, they say he had a mental disorder, you know, that's what they always say, you know, the Swiss, they all, you know, they are so intelligent and it's always the foreigner. And now too, you know, they call him the, the mad killer, you know. So that's what they always do. It's all, I know it. You know, they tried the same thing with me. And I've never done a thing like this and I would never do a thing like this, you know. Um, yeah, and this is the Kesp. They are very, very dangerous, you know. Just a moment before there was a whole Swiss family, you know, that, you know, got suicided because of these bastards here of the Kesp. So, and, um, so they just put him in a mental home, you know, and completely wrecked the man, you know, used him as a guinea pig, pumped him full with all sort of, I know now how the Swiss are lying, so I, I know, I know the story, and I've, I've heard so many similar stories of immigrants, you know, that Spanish guy, Gabriel, he told me, he's probably in there as well, you know, they always do the same thing. And, um, yeah, he was uh, accommodated, they call it, you know. Here they use so, you know, very soft, you know, words, accommodated. But for the man, you know, they use very hard words, like the mad killer. You know, that's a solution, you know. Call him the mad killer, you know, then there's, you know, that was it, you know. The guy was mad, so, you know, that, that's why he did it, you know. He was an immigrant and he was mad, you know. It's another witch hunt. The Swiss are very, very good with witch hunts, you know, they, that's, and they did it, you know, it was the Swiss card, God in the Middle Ages, with that Swiss book, the Maleus Maleficarum, or the Witch's Hammer, uh, who started, you know, killing all the, all, all, all the good women, you know, who were killed by the witches and not the other way around. This is evil. I've never seen so much evil as here. And don't talk about it, you know, because they'll they'll stab you in the back, Swizzy does. Therefore, it is it's extremely rare Turks and other Muslims marry European witches. For sex, fun and disco, yes. But not for marriage and having children together. Because Muslim men know what a shit storm they'll have to face, as in this case with our brave Turkish victim of Swiss premeditated terror and crimes against humanity. So here you can see it again, you know, they, they call him the mad killer all the time in every single article they wrote, you know, to, this is slander, you know, to condition the minds of all the readers, you know, about how bad the, the immigrants are, you know, which they already did, you know, for, for 20 years here or more. So now they don't even have to write, you know, the dirty foreigner anymore, as they did before. They really did, you know. So they just have to write down the mad killer to condition the people, you know, all the time. And this is bad, you know, this is, this is really bad. You know, living in Switzerland, it's like, you know, being, being, you know, like in Nazi Germany in the 30s, you know. And, you know, it was all Swiss made anyway. He says he forbade the grandparents to see their grandchildren. Well, didn't they say before that they took away his children? So how can he possibly forbid the grandparents to see their, their grandchildren? You know, it, it doesn't stick. You know, they, they contradict each other in their Swiss lies. You know, it's not possible. It's, it's all a lie, I'll tell you. They even contradict each other in their lies. They took the, his children away, you know. That's violence. He cared for his kids. You know? I lived through the same things here. 
I know what a bunch of liars these Swissies are, and I heard lots of stories, you know. It's not even the use to talk with them anymore. You know, all the time they call him the killer. Even in the German, in the German language, you know, it's a German-speaking uh, newspaper. It says, you know, he was in a private clinic for psychiatry and psychotherapy. You know, and this is what they do with many immigrants for no apparent reason at all, just for terror. Well, you know, it says again, the mad killer. And this is going on for a week. Every day, several times a day, they write in the newspapers, the mad killer. You know, to uh, to condition the people, you know. So they'll, they'll repeat it, what the newspaper is telling them. Eh? So, they, they, they pumped him so full, you know, it says... Um, how is it possible he murdered despite the medication? You know, they pumped him so full that they're asking the question, you know, how is it possible he was still walking on his on his legs, you know? And um It's horrible. You know, it's it's Auschwitz, you know, really. And here it says, you know, the depot of the drugs it will hold two weeks, you know. Two weeks it stays in the body, and the other other ones they gave him, you know, it stays for, it stays for years. And here they even talk, you know, about the uh, the drug here. They say there's no more. Um, it, it you know it dampens the brain activity. Well, what do you know, you know? So they can put some other suggestions in his mind if he has no more brain activity of himself you know this is brainwashing this is what they do you know first they they dampen you know the excess of brain activity so you have no more resistance of yourself and then they can you know give the orders and the um, and the suggestions you know like go and kill somebody you know this is what they do you know this is these are experiments it's a long lasting uh poison they gave him you know it's horrible 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 and they didn't you know they didn't prevent his actions with it they triggered his actions of the poor turk you know it says you know um it says um a chief physician may order an injection of neuroleptics even against the will of the patients in the clinic well that's no problem they say well it's absolutely no problem yeah you know just 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 waste a human being you know and torture him you know that's what swiss is doing you know that, that's what they do with us you know i, I was near to get there i i videotaped the um what that uh, psychiatrist wrote about me, they forced me, you know, 19 pages. And and the, this guy, you know, he, he copied it and he just put a name in it every single time, you know. It just doesn't fit. That's not me, you know, he wrote about. You know. Swissy used the Turk for medical experiments for their important Swiss chemical industry, which is probably the biggest, biggest in the world with firms like Novartis now writing in the Swiss newspapers. Well, why wasn't he down? We pumped him so full. The Turk wouldn't, wouldn't have been able to walk anymore. Well, what else to expect in a country where the ethnic Swiss Dr. Mengele from Auschwitz freely walked around after the war in the 50s and 60s? And everyone knowing it in Switzerland. This is Octogon of the Alps, the base of all evil and all wickedness. Mengele probably never was in you know in in, in, in Brazil or Argentina or wherever he was. He was all the time in Switzerland. You know. Here it says the Swiss turned a blind eye to Mengele visits in Switzerland. The Nazi butcher. And there's this 
go and watch this video on the same channel. Dr. Mengele got 100% protection in Switzerland, angel of death, you know, the heredity, biology. And I put it all together in my video where the same footage is here in the video Auschwitz made in Switzerland or my other channel, uh, Gure. He was all the time in Switzerland, you know, because his son, Rolf, he studied in, um, in an elite boarding school in uh, Montreux. Uh, as Mengele is from a very, very rich family, one of the richest families in Europe. So this is, you know, this is Nazism for the rich, which is something else than Nazism of the poor. Nazism of the rich, they always try to mobilize Nazism of the poor, you know, the workers, you know. So they never stopped. The Swiss never stopped. And Dr. Mengele, he was involved in sterilizing young people in Switzerland and uh, uh, thousands of gypsies after the war. At the same time Mengele was in Switzerland, you know, in the 50s, 60s and even 70s. And the Swiss never stopped doing it. And this is what they did with the, with the young Turk. And Swissy does their crime by delegating the authorities anonymously, make it legal before, just as Swissy had Adolf Hitler come in the legal way to have that other patriarchy genocide it. So go and watch this video on my other channel. The Templar Nazis of Switzerland financed Adolf Hitler and World War II. Uh, in 1923. So this is Mr. Hitler in Switzerland. It's a very rare picture. Here you can see a Swiss policeman or an army man and here's some more. It's all Swiss here. Yeah. Swiss army caps. Guy with a gun in his pocket. He was a Swiss agent. There's no doubt. The Swiss authorities are full of homosexuals which I know from my own experience who are very helpful to the sisters of Isis for their hatred against the patriarchy and anything that's male and naturally. Me, Sean Ross, have seen them personally as guards in the prisons, in the Swiss courts, Swiss police, the child authorities called KESP. And I remember their faces and their hatred of at least four of them. I still remember their faces very, very carefully and very, very clear. I know, you know, who they were. And these homos, both lesbians and queers, just have a natural born hatred for everything that's normal, healthy and male. So this is very, very well known, you know. They even say it themselves and they act that way. And especially the SS, or social services, are apparently full of them. And SS stands for ISIS, written consonants only in Pharaonic, being a helpful product for the Horus Matrix of the Swiss Sisters of ISIS and our Lord of Darkness, Seth, or Seton, who just hates God's creation and everything normal, healthy, and male. Uh, uh, so here it says uh, in the beginning here, they, they, they say, you know, the children were in danger. And that's, that's this, this CASP is saying it, you know. Well, you have to know that the Swiss child authorities until 1989, they, they had children slaves called the Fadin Kinder. You know, they were, they were rounded up by the Swiss police and brought to their to their rapists, you know, the child molesters, and they were beaten to death and starved to death. They're called Ferding Kinder. Go and look it up, you know. So do you believe this, people, you know, when they say, when these child authorities having children slaves until 1989, that they say the children were in danger? Do you believe them? Well, I don't. Not at all, you know. And here it says, the guy was a Turk and he had three naturalized children. So they want to make like 
uh, Swissies out of them. You know, outside they look like Turkeys, inside Swissies, and you know, they have a Turkish nationality as well. <laughs> and then they try and go and import them in Turkey, you know. And maybe they make it into the, uh, the, the Turkish parliament. And this is how the Turkish people, you know, they, you know, they, they have no chance, you know, with these sort of, they, they're doing the same thing in Africa everywhere, you know. And uh, it says, you know, the Turkish guy, they had two house searches, you know, looking for weapons, you know. The Swiss, you know, they, they, it's the country where they have the most weapons per capita in the world, you know. Everyone has weapons, you know, assault rifles at home with ammunition. Um, totally, you know, um, fully automatic and everything, you know. But as a foreigner, you know, you are not allowed to have anything, you know. And they even put it on you, you know, in a country where everybody has guns and, and weapons, you know. And uh, here it says... You know, they, they put him in a psychiatrical hospital, in a, in a clinic here, Turkey's origin. And, um, and for Mother Elisa and their three children, the Kesp, they're very dangerous. They're extremely dangerous. And I see myself, it's full of homosexuals. And they hate everything male, you know, which is known, you know. I'm probably not allowed to say this, as you know, you know, they can, you know, um, well, the CASB will give no further information. You know. So they can discriminate the Turk, no problem, they can dis discriminate, you know, Muslims or patriarchal, archical, uh, man, or they, they did discriminate me. And if I just say it, you know, what happened, and the hatred, you know, they they did upon the Turk, you know, and, and, and upon me. Then they probably say, well, I discriminate them. Only for saying it, you know. It's not allowed, you know. But they can discriminate me and normal males. No problem. That's okay, yeah. Well, I'm, I tell you, it's not okay. And these people are not nice. They are not, you know. It's very obvious, you know. The Swiss media too are full of hateful homos who gratefully grab the situation to slander the young Turk in their evil quest against the patriarchy and against Islam in particular. Because Islam does not accept any off-roads of the creation like homos and their hatred against man. So here you can see the uh, psychiatrist, you know, what. Well, just look at him, you know. And so he talks, you know, everybody, you know, everything but the truth, yes? So uh, it says, so this is his name, uh, Joseph Zachs. That means somebody from Saxony, but well, he's Swiss, but I mean the name, yeah? So what can you tell about the personality of the killer? He says, you know, uh, they w he wanted not to lose the control of his family. Well, of course he doesn't. He's his father, yeah? He doesn't want to leave his kids, you know, with some, you know, with the uh, the rapist of the Kesp. Won't he now? He's a Turk, you know. He, he loves his children and he dies first before, you know, before lose control over his family. What's wrong with it? You psychiatrist, hey, eh? what's wrong with that? Uh, he tried to exercise power. Yeah, well, here you see the, the Horus Matrix. He didn't want their, his children to become too Swiss. He wanted to keep them a little bit like Turkish, you know, but probably 50-50, you know, uh, like a... Um, but the Swiss, they wanted to make 100% Swiss out of them, you know, for the, for the obvious reasons, as I just told you. And so because of this, you know, he says because of this, because he he wants to keep control over his family and tell his sons, well, listen, you know, life is about this and this. You shouldn't do this, you know. And this is one of the main things, you know, because 
the children are the products of Pharaoh. They are not you. They're not your children. You know, forget it. And because of this, because he was a loving father, you know, and he didn't, he wanted to to raise his children. You know, so they call him narcissistic. You know, they say, well, he did it for himself. You know, like there are parents who teach their children like three or four languages for themselves, so they feel proud. You know. You see how twisted it all is. This is, this is evil, folks. Really, it's it's. And uh, at the end, you know, they they take the opportunity. For more restrictive laws, you know, what lessons can be learned from the case? You know, they want more. So this guy wants to have more power over us, and he's saying the Turk is doing it. You know, they're just turning the whole thing upside down. So it says here, you know, but Red, you know, uh, we have to act rashly and equal, revolutionize the entire system. So what do they, you know, they use a, like a soft uh, word for it. But what he means, you know, that they want more restrictive laws, you know. This is what he means with re revolutionize. They just So they can just grab you from the streets, you know, what they're already doing. And uh, more laws to just put you away. And this is what he means with to revolutionize. They are so smart. Swissy is incredibly smart. They, tw they twist the words, you know, they always do, you know, because they're so clean, you know, and, and they, they are the perfect criminals, you know, they, they are the perpetrators of perfect crime, really. The Swiss are serial killers, you know. And for me it's clear, you know, the Turk wouldn't have never done it if they if they wouldn't this guy here, if they if he wouldn't have pumped him full with full of poisons as a guinea pig, A and B, if they wouldn't have taken his children away, and C, if they wouldn't have locked him up in his in a psych in a locked psychiatrical hospital, then it would never have happened. You did it yourself, Swissy, you liars. Oh, there he is again, the psychiatrist. He's probably, you know, his family are probably friends with Dr. Mengele or, you know, from the same, uh, maybe, anyway, from the same bloodline, you know. And here it says that word, you know. So this is the same article as the one before, only this one is in German. And here it says, Iren Killer. That means the mad killer. Why use an English word, you know, in a German Newspaper. It all has a meaning, you know. So the media call my defenseless Turkish brother the Ira Killer or the Insane Killer, using the English word killer in a German speaking newspaper to get that Hollywood impact, associating a tormented father with a serial killer. Oh, this is what Swissy loves, to destroy other people with their filthy Swiss tongues, twisting the words and the, and the reality and the truth. And it's getting worse by the day in Octogon. Swiss media knowing they don't even need to use the word criminal foreigner anymore, as Swiss media has been doing that for years already, manipulating the general mindset. And now millions of Swiss ready for using their three newly built concentration camps. I'll show you the whole article for those, and I'll put it in the descriptions for you. Uh, oh, this is interesting. So these are the last words here as they, you know, as are they using, uh, you know, vor schnell zu handeln und das gleich und das gleich das komplette System umkrempeln zu wollen. Uh, yeah, more laws against humanity. Great, it's like the Patriot Act. They're using this, you know, and apparently last week they passed another Patriot Act in France too. And uh, that Patriot Act in France. 
the French people don't like these sort of things. Of course, it was made by Swissy, by their Swiss interior minister, Manuel Valls, who was 100% Swiss. I made a video about that in French. With this document, I defend the honor of my Turkish brother, hoping his children and relatives will see this document one day, hearing the truth versus that Swiss evil and their Nazi lies. How my Turkish brother must have felt, drugged, destroyed, children gone, alone against Swiss evil all around, and his only friend a gun for a final honorable way out of that misery against overwhelming Swiss hatred and so organized, legalized by media and authorities. So here you can see, this was in The Guardian. I'll put it in the links for you. That was last year. And it said, for the Swiss court, it's okay. When a police officer calls an immigrant a foreign pig, a dirty asylum seeker, insulting, uh, you know, and, and under these conditions we have to live here. And this is, this is nothing compared to all the other things they do here. So this is really the tip of the iceberg and um, it shows here, this is how they treat us, you know. And this is what the, the Turk um, had to live with. And me too. And uh, because he opened up his mouth, you know, and said, well, he also returned it to the Swiss, you know. And so that's why they put him away, you know. I don't even talk to Swiss anymore. It's no use. They're a bunch of evil, sadist, Nazi liars. Yeah. I don't even, I, I know how they are. You can't change them. They're very different from the Germans, you know. In Germany, there's a, there's a real big um, you know anti movement against Nazis. There always has been, even before Mr. Hitler, during Mr. Hitler, you know. But the, the German Nazis they got back up from Switzerland. And this is how they won, because these people are incredibly sly. They have something. They have something more, you know. That must be the pharaonic thing, you know. So here, the Swiss justice system, it says it's okay, you know, calling immigrants uh, a foreign pig, a dirty asylum seeker, etc., etc. I, I heard a lot of things, you know. And this is what they did with the, with that young Turk, you know. And now they call him the, uh, the insane killer, you know. It's, this is what Switzerland is. So this was an article in The Guardian. I mourn for you, my Turkey's brother, because I know they did the same to me. I feel with you, my Turkey's brother, and I hope some good Turks will come and see me and discuss a way to protect our families against this Swiss evil. I also went through hell, and I still do here in wicked Switzerland, just for being an immigrant, being a male, and for opening my mouth. And now I'll open my mouth for you, my Turkish brother, and victim of Swiss organized crime. It says, foreigners receive harsher sentences than the Swiss. Nowhere in the prisons are as many aliens as in Switzerland, you know. Uh, they're racist judges. I tell you, it's even worse, you know. It's, it's not even... Um, the Swiss don't get punished at all, you know. Swiss child molesters, banksters, anything you want, you know. And the foreigner, he goes into prison for nothing at all. It's worse than they say here, you know. They admit just a little bit. It's always the same. It's a lie. The article is a lie in itself because everybody knows and they're just stalling time. They know concentration camps are coming back and another world war coming back and they're just stalling time. So they give in a little bit, you know, and they say, well, they, they just get harsher sentences. Well, I tell you, they absolutely fill up the prisons with totally innocent people as they did with me. 
I'm not a criminal. I refuse. I never was. I never will be. And the police and the authorities, they just lie things together. You know, this is this is the most uh, the most evil people on the entire planet. I'm I'm totally convinced now. They're behind everything. Hey, you sisters of Isis and your satanic homo servants, I'm just a man. I was born like that. And I'm not a macho, nor do I oppress women. I'm just a male, very male. And I just don't want to be F-U-C-K'd. <clears throat> that makes me itchy and irritable. I'm just a male with a big heart, not tolerating injustice and your Swissy genocides. I knew I had lost against such a superior force of massive numbers, realizing the only way to eradicate the evil Swiss adversary would be by a thorough analysis for the cause of justice, presenting the world, and that's what I did. Bringing more Swiss hatred and terror upon me and my family for speaking out. Yes, my Turkish brother, I lasted 18 years of Swiss incessant terrorism, knowing their deeds, foul Swiss lies and incredible organization in the name of darkness. That's from the BBC, the article, put in the links. Swissy murdered their Turkish victim in their social experiment to make a garden gnome for the sisters of Isis out of him and see how far they could go. The Turk was a victim and very much afraid. Well, why else do you think he had to install video cameras around his house? So before taking up arms as a last resort, he tried everything else, but well, author Swiss authorities will never treat an immigrant's complaint in Switzerland. So here you can read that again. He installed on his front door uh, some cameras and his explanation, I was threatened. The man was afraid. He is not the aggressor. He is the victim. And now Swissy Nazi Swiss, they just slip into the victim's role. That's what they always do. Oh, we were afraid of Mr. Hitler, you know? Oh, come on. Imagine the poor man standing on his last day with a handgun in his pocket and trembling because of all the poison Swiss he had pumped him up with. The brave Turk must have been incredibly strong, hardly being able to think clearly and concentrate because of all the satanic garbage in his veins and realizing he would never see his children anymore, who were already kidnapped by the Swiss devils. So he decided to die standing up, shaking and trembling, but not on his knees with only his willpower left and no control over his muscles because all of all the satanic garbage Swissy had injected into his veins with this Turkish victim of Swiss tyranny. Yes, this is what Swissy does to people. As I got this letter today on May 15, 2015, about another condemnation of May 11, 2015, for speaking the truth on YouTube about Swiss police, liars and the corrupt Nazi police. Well, you know the story, I'm not going to repeat it. And in spite of the fact another YouTuber has already paid for the same matter last year, 
Now they sentenced me to 180 plus 40, making 220 days in prison, which is almost a year, only for speaking the truth in my YouTube videos about evil Swiss crimes against humanity. So here you can read the whole thing here. Well, that's me here. And here it says, 180 days. And here it says, another 40 days. Altogether, almost one year in prison. For, they say it's for slander. Well, I'm only telling the truth. They are doing the slander. And for swearing. For shimfung. Well, I didn't. You know, you can all see it. and they, they, There's absolutely no proof at all. They're just a bunch of criminals and they want to get me in prison. If they get, if I get there one day, well, I never get out anymore. Just as they did with the Turk. Can you all see the crown here? The bear, you know, the land of the bear, as John saw it. This is the aristocracy. That's, that's where they are. You know? So... And uh, this is what it's all about. It's about my YouTube videos. It's political. And uh, they don't want people to talk about neutral Switzerland. You know, the base of all evil. There it is. It's about YouTube. It says here, YouTube. It's a dictatorship. They're behind everything. The Second World War, the First World War, the Thirty Year War. Now what's going on in the Muslim countries is all being financed by Switzerland. It, this is evil. It's plain evil. You see, it's all about YouTube. So I'm, I, they want to put me now in the slammer for almost a year. And I, I will never get out of this, you know, they're going to pump me full of sort of, all sort of uh, psychopharmica, just as they did with the, with the Turkish victim. And they already wrote a lot of things and, and as they wrote about me recently in the newspaper with that hit list, it's, all, it's also going in a psychiatrical direction, you know. And... Um, if I go in there for one day, I'll never get out anymore again. So, that's Switzerland. You know, this, this, this gives joy to the Swiss heart. Terror. Nazi, plain Nazi terror. In the name of Dr. Mengele and the Nazis. You know, it's, it's, it's the same legacy. They never, it, they, they never stopped. The Nazis were never conquered. It just went on. So if you don't hear from me anymore and no more new videos, you all know what happened. Eh? And inside the Swiss Nazi penitentiary, Swissy will lie more things together so they can send me into a mental institution forever, as they did with the brave Turk and many, many others. Many immigrants get suicided and murdered by the Swiss Nazi authorities. As in this prison here, where Swissy recently in 2015 murdered three immigrant prisoners in less than a month's time. And it was only one of their many prisons. And this endless Swiss terror and lies against me and other immigrants, like the brave Turk, and against my family has been going on for 18 years now without a pause. So here you can read it, you know, this is the third prisoner who died within one month in his cell. And that's only one prison here, you know. So this is a prison in Zurich, uh, where money is more important than the human life anyway. Here's another prison, another prison where a prisoner was lying dead in his cell. And here another one in the canton of Nietewalden, another prison. So, uh, 
It says it was a Swiss, but that doesn't mean anything. Maybe it was an Italian born or an Algerian born in Switzerland or, you know. So, here you can read it. You know, there was a Serb, 50 years old, um, a Nigerian. They're all immigrants. They murdered them. <laughs> they have murdered many, many people. And well, I showed it in my other videos. I'm not going to repeat it. So here's a more close up. Here's the old article. There you go. So you can see there was like um, 2015, May the 4th. It's just, what is it, a week ago. It's happening all the time. I'm not even showing it all anymore, you know. It's. I mean, well, what else to say? So here you can see one of the Swiss Nazi posters which the Swiss show in the streets and this one is against Turks as you can see. So all three of them are Turks here that's you know it's quite obvious you can see that can't you. So these rotten Swiss liars will probably slap me with some more of their only for Swissy laws. So if there's any Turk who can help me get a Turkish nationality I would be proud to be to do so and become a Turkish citizen, because I've realized that the uh, the West is pure evil and Switzerland the head of it all. Anyway, I've been a dirty Turk. In between quotation marks, of course. Here in Switzerland for 18 long years, as the Swiss call all Turkish immigrants. So I might just as well become a real Turk. I'm white, non-Muslim, not religious, and have been spit out by the West. And because no government in the world, including the Turkish government, will ever do anything against Switzerland, which is the United Kingdom of the Red and White House of Pharaoh. And that's why I've put the name of the Turkish Grey Wolves in the title, in the hope they will see my video, Saving the Young Turks Honor, because I heard that the Grey Wolves protect the people from Turkey. And for the rest, I'm unaware of their activities, really. Rest in peace, my brave Turkish brother. You were not the one who was violent, but these Swiss devils were, as violence has endless many faces, and you just wanted to stop this Swiss violence, once and for all. Violence has endless many faces, of which all are allowed except one, the male physical reaction mostly for defense. A woman and the sisters of Isis stand all sorts of impunishable violences at her disposal, and most sisters of Isis make daily use of them. Psychological violence, violence in union, conspirative violence, violence behind one's back, violence of the the theatrical lies, Violence of delegating states forces just if her mood says so. Violence of taking away his kids. Violence of aimed preparation of mobbing. Violence of all sorts of either hysterical or calculated provocations, etc., etc. Thus, the big violence sneaks in through the back door. As a man, even queers try to have a go at you, cause they, cause even they've got the message through. There won't be any appropriate male reaction anymore. She knows she's, she'll always win. Society, justice and police are feminine, clearly seen in German and French, where D and la means feminine. 
So in German, that's die Gesellschaft, die Polizei, die Justiz. So all in service for the Sisters of Isis. Further promoted. by the fact that the symbol of a man is on purpose traditionally being represented by Jesus on the cross. That's no else than present day's male symbol. He can't run away because he's got his feet nailed. He can't defend himself because he's got his hands nailed. He can only move his head, nod and say, yes darling, no honey, or yes Mr. President, no judge, sir. So this is a picture of Sean Ross being eaten alive by the Swiss pharaonic state and their crimes against humanity, while he's gradually choking them with his texts. One can stop a bullet, but one cannot stop the word. A hey, Swissy, no matter how much you try, you will not stop the word, you will not stop the First Amendment.